Oh, I need to rotate the camera. Rotate your device. And we need to, there we go. Boy, technology. Rotate my device. I can't turn it that way. So I was suggested that I actually turn my camera sideways to do these live uh, on-site videos. But unfortunately, it appears as though I cannot rotate my camera. So I'm Scott Rajivori with Titus Contracting. This is What's Hot with Scott. We are a residential and commercial remodeling contractor in the Minneapolis, Minnesota area, Minneapolis, St. Paul. And uh, this uh, this little video we do talks about some hot trends or just things that are going on or suggestions for your home uh, or business. So today we're going to uh, take a look at a project we're about ready to start. Um, I'm running a little bit behind. I apologize for that. I needed to get on site. But the thing about this project is that it incorporates many of the items we've discussed in the past as far as high, uh, hot items. And hi, Lisa. Thanks for joining us. Sorry I'm late. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show you the space that we're looking at today. Um, you're going to notice that um, there is a large, long wall that separates the dining area from the kitchen. This is a problem. This is a problem for many people. You're also going to notice that we have vinyl flooring, old oak cabinets, laminate countertops. So this is this is pretty common of a house built in the late 80s, early 90s. So the first thing that we take into account is the walls that we're going to remove here, whether they're load bearing or not. So um, the way we the way we determine that is we look at what's above in the situation, and we know that this is a rambler. Um, so we know that the only thing above here is is the roof. We know that the time period that the house was built, uh, the 80s and, and 90s, we use trusses which span from wall to wall. So we can be assured that this wall is not low bearing that we can remove it. Additionally, we look at things like electrical components that might need to be removed. Um, how do we get to that? What the lower level finish is like, the ceilings, how do we access these areas? In this situation, we're going to be relocating that sink um, because we're completely uh, redoing the way the kitchen lays out. So these are things that we look at as we're assessing the project with our clients. Things that you need to be thinking about is you just can't take the wall out. You need to make sure that the wall can come out. And if if there is, it is a low-bearing wall, typically speaking, we can still take the wall out. It's just what's it going to take, how much engineering, you know, what's the process going to be, what's the cost going to be to take that wall out. So um, along with uh, uh, the wall coming out in this project, what we're going to also do is we're going to do full height cabinets. You'll notice right now that these cabinets do not go full height. We're going to do a new wood species, an updated door style. We'll um, do actually some really cool uh, recycled glass countertops uh, we'll incorporate here. Um, we're going to have an uh, eat-in island area. Uh, with with seating, of course, we'll incorporate underneath the cabinets. Um, we'll incorporate some um, peak and a peak underneath here. Right now, there's nothing there. We will have some under cabinet LED lighting. We're going to go to recessed lighting in here. We're going to do some really cool uh, vinyl plank flooring. So we're incorporating tear down the wall. Yes, Lisa, we're going to tear down the wall. I should do it right now. Um, so we're going to incorporate many of those uh, things that you've heard us discuss over the course of our last shows, um, many updates uh, that um, are obviously quite necessary at this point. So what I'm going to do actually is uh, in about oh, a month from now, maybe three weeks to a month from now, when we're through drywall, I'm going to walk us back through here again and show you what we've done, show you what the open space looks like, and then hold your breath. <laughs> when we're done, we will show you what the completed project looks like with the walls open, the new cabinets, new Eden area, lighting. We're going to have pendant lights in there. And I actually brought a quick rendering I did when I designed this. Um, I'm going to show you this picture. This is what this exciting project is going to look like. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to maybe bring it into some better light. Uh, these are renderings we do off of our, our uh, architectural software we use. So... You can see 
<clears throat> that uh, the wall is gone in this picture. The cabinets go full height. We make the, the uh, refrigerator of a built-in appearance. Some really cool tile going on the back wall. A really nice eat-in bar area. So when we are done, we'll show you the completed project and we'll get your opinions. So again, I'm Scott Rajivori with Titus Contracting. This is What's Hot with Scott. I appreciate you taking the time to join us and look forward to discussing projects, hot stuff, and what's going on in remodeling in a couple weeks when we get together again. Again, if you've got any questions, please contact Titus Contracting you through our Facebook page, or you can go online and find us and send us your questions. And what does Lisa say? <laughs> hope they'll make a snack for the crew. Well, I hope so, Lisa. And if we do work at your house, I hope we get a snack too. So have a great day. Talk to you later.